Hey everyone, we are here for my April new in beauty. Now I've got a few things to get through which are new, but I also have some things that have been on my desk for a while, but I haven't actually gotten around to try yet. So I'm gonna tell you what I think about those as well. Now in terms of things that happened in April, um, there was the really big storm in Auckland and we've actually just today come out of 10 days of having no hot water. Now we're very fortunate that we don't have any young children or elderly in the house and we did have power the whole time so we still count ourselves very lucky. Also no damage to our property but definitely to some of our neighbours so all good. Um, also it was my mum's 60th birthday so we went and celebrated with her which was lovely um, and then my auntie and uncle made it to New Zealand for the first time in 38 years to see my mum and I. And so we actually took them black water rafting down in Waitomo Caves and it was such an awesome experience. It was really challenging but I was super proud of the way that I got through it. I think Josh was quite surprised that I did a few things without kind of freaking out. So yay me! Um, so let's get into it and I'm going to show you guys what I think of some new products. And to start us off we have an awesome package from Revlon. So they have just brought out a new range of foundation. It is, of course, the Revlon Photo Ready, but it is Insta Filter. And as you can see, it actually comes with a cool kind of applicator sponge already on it. So you just kind of twist up what you want of it and you just apply it like this. So really actually good if you're traveling or maybe you do your makeup on the go. Not while driving, please. I see too many people do that and it's really distracting because I see them like not blend things properly and it freaks me out. Um, but this will be a really good one to use once you get to the office and you do your your makeup in the bathroom. They've also sent me their Revlon Photo Ready Color Correcting Pen, which is really good for dark under eyes. Oh, hello. Um, and then also their Photo Ready Prep Set and Refresh Mist. So this is, I think, a good one to have in your handbag at all times. Um, I love a good mist generally just to refresh, but the fact that it also helps to set your makeup as well, it's really good two in one. Now, secondly is an item that I was so excited to receive. So thank you to the team at GHD. They have sent me their gorgeous new gold styler. Now this bad boy has dual zone, not tone, dual zone technology, which means that both plates are gonna be heated up consistently to a certain temperature that gives you the results that you want without actually damaging your hair. So you're gonna have smoother, sleeker, healthier, hair by using this product. Um, one thing that is also great about this as well is that it is it has a safety mode to it so if you have not used it within 30 minutes it is going to turn off automatically so you don't have to be in the car going oh my gosh did I turn it off because it would have turned off by itself. Um, 30 second heat up and it's gonna give you a nice little beep when it's all heated up and truly it is only 30 seconds. And you don't even want to trial touching the plates because you just trust me, they're hot. Um, I'm very excited about this. I've been using this for a couple of my shoots. Um, so thank you again so much to the GHD team for sending this my way. I love it. I really do, it's great. Next up we have a new fragrance and this one is by the legendary Britney Spears. She always does amazing perfumes. They're always super like fruity and floral and this one is no exception. It is Sunset Fantasy. So let me show you the packaging because the packaging is always very beautiful. Look at that, gorgeous peach and pink. It is so pretty and so summery, which is nice going into autumn because it's gonna make you kind of live out those warmer months a little bit longer. Now the thing that I love about this is that it has the classic kind of fantasy smell to it, which has been around, fantasy has been around for so many years. Like I'm sure I was a teenager when that came out. Um, so it kind of brings back a little bit of my teenage days. But what I love about Sunset Fantasy is that it has brought in a beautiful kind of undertone of peach in it. Um, peach is like, that's one of my favourite scents ever um, when it comes to fruit, along with like watermelon. Um, but I just love it. I feel like peach is really underused when it comes to perfume, so this one's great. And if you have a chance, go and give it a smell and I think that you'll quite like it. 
So the next product is one that I have actually had for a while, but for some reason I put it at the back of my shelf and completely forgot about it until now. So I'm really sorry to this team for taking so long to finally trial it, and I don't know why I didn't do that sooner, but it is the Avene Hydrants Optimal Aqua Gel Cream. And now Avene are great because what they do is they use um, they use quite a few like natural products um, and it's all about hydration, they're all about hydration which is great. Um, and as you can imagine with a name like Hydrants, yes it's going to be all about hydration. Um, so here is the product, it's a beautiful gel cream and um, they use some natural spring water from the province in France. It has a great little applicator brush because especially with creams like this you don't actually even if your hands are clean you don't really want to be putting your fingers into this um, so that's great and it's just a beautiful beautiful just easy cream product to use so it kind of looks like a cream it works like a gel it sinks in beautifully and I think it's a great product to use in the um, lead up to winter, especially if your skin does get quite dry. Now I did trial this, I think I've done it about three nights in a row, um, and it's great. My skin definitely did feel hydrated, I had been coming off of a cold, so around my nose area was quite dry. TMI? No, everyone gets a dry nose. Um, so this has been a great little feature in my bathroom um, and part of my skincare routine. So if you're looking for something that is super hydrating, don't go past this. Next up we have some gorgeous products in an amazing Tender Love and Carry Bag, amazing New Zealand website that I love. There is in this little bad boy some Milani products. Now Milani is not a new brand, we know that it's a cult favourite for beauty bloggers but one thing that is new is that it's new to farmers and so they're selling this currently all online and it's worth going and checking out. So some of the things that they have sent me are their baked bronzer which I have tried a couple of times and I really like actually, it gives me a really good glow. Their blush, I have tried their blush before and um, they're just beautiful, kind of like super pigmented so you don't need too much, but it gives you like that almost nice like shimmery glow as well. But I'll just show you a couple of the new products they have brought out. The first one is this. Now this is a holographic lip topper um, and it is in the color Hypnotic Lights. It's a beautiful kind of light pink and it's got gold glitter throughout it so it is just beautiful really for any skin tone. Um, you can use this on top of a lipstick, hence why it's called a topper. You can use it by itself. A little goes a really long way and I've got it on at the moment on my lips just to give them a beautiful kind of like summery shimmer. Um, and I think it's great if you if you love 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 glitter, which I do. This is gonna be your favorite, okay? Like seriously, you're gonna have people turning up and being like, "What? Like, tell me how you got your lips like that?" Um, because it's so pretty, so pretty, and it also doesn't feel like you've got glitter on. And then the second thing that they have just brought out is a beautiful, and so 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 insta worthy, um, holographic beams. Stella Lights Highlighter Palette, so it is called Stella Lights. It has three different colours in it, so you've got your kind of pink one, your blue which is really good for like a cooler skin tone, and then you've also got your beautiful kind of pinky peach colour. So you can use this to highlight your whole face. Now don't just go like this and go all over, you can if you like, but I wouldn't recommend that, you're going to look like a disco ball, but um, use certain products kind of where you need to on your face and also depending on your skin tone as well so you can also give this to your besties to give a go as well. Now we've just got a couple more to get through. The next one is from Arborn. Now I worked with Arborn near the end of last year and um, I got to try some of their skincare and their makeup products and they truly are beautiful. But the one thing that I really did fall in love with their makeup brushes. Um, so they were generous enough to um, send me a little pack of travel makeup brushes in like the best colour ever. And so, here they are. 
If you are after a set of really good quality brushes or even just buying them individually, maybe you want another blush brush or something like that, then definitely look into Arbor and I just find that the bristles are incredibly soft and it's very well made. I'm not having any bristles kind of fall out as I'm doing my makeup. Um, and they are a really great brand to look into. And finally, we have the gorgeous brand NYX. I went to their event that they had earlier in April, I think it was the start of April, um, and it was just so much fun, like there were so many friendly faces there, all the beauty bloggers, um, just so many beautiful people in the room, and I was sat by the food stall just eating because they had the most amazing food platters. Um, my girl Angie from Girl Interrupted knows what's up. Um, with those cheese sticks um, but let me show you some of their products as well so I was lucky to walk away with this product which is the NYX Contour Intuitive Eye and Face Sculpting Palette so it has your eyeshadows, your highlight and also your blush here um, so it's a great kind of just chuck in your bag and take with you and you can do a lot with it with just this one palette it's going to do most of your face um, just make sure that you of course bring your concealer and your foundation and stuff like that because that's not in here unless you have like perfect amazing skin and no dark under eyes like this yeah this another awesome thing that I was gifted is their holographic halo finishing powder there is just a thing with holographic at the moment and I am okay with it um, it is a gorgeous kind of like peachy shimmery powder I'm um, a loose powder as well I love a good loose powder I, I feel like not enough people do loose powders um, and that's great just to give you that kind of final little shimmer in certain places and then the last thing that I'm really excited to try is the NYX Glitter Primer. So you can use this on your eyelids, on your lips as well, and you just kind of, you just dab it on and let it set like a primer does before you put on your glitter, which is then going to make it stick. Yes, thank you to the team at NYX for having an amazing event, an amazing food platter um, and sending me away with some amazing goodies to try. So that is me. I think we did get through it a little bit quicker than the previous couple of ones. I hope that you enjoyed it and are going to go check out some of those products and I will see you guys next month. Okay, see you. Bye.